think there's anything like C4 Wrestling in Ottawa or anywhere else that I've seen. Most other indie shows don't get that kind of crowd and the fans are just a lot drunker. <laughs> wrestling when I was 20. I had a couple injuries, a couple concussions, tore my AC joint or damn my AC joint in this shoulder, tore this rotator cuff, chipped this meniscus. In my match, uh, Dino busted the back of his head open on a dive. He like flipped over the top rope, landed on us. Um, I guess the back of his head hit the ring or the ground. I'm pretty sure it was the ring. Cut off in the back of his head. He knew it was like wide open the second he stood up. And there's blood all over him, somehow all over me. We're not fighting, we're wrestling. Like wrestling is its own thing. We're not like doing MMA, we're not doing boxing. We're doing professional wrestling. So. Like when I hit somebody, I'm not trying to kill them. I'm not trying to knock them out. If I give somebody a forearm, I'm just giving them a forearm. I'm not trying to take their head off. Sometimes you are. Sometimes you don't like the person. Sometimes if they hit you a little too hard. C4 is different than other indie shows. It's just a little bit extra, a little bit more. And it's a shitty building. It's a shitty bar. But the shows are really, really good. If I knew eight years ago it would be still going on in 2015, I would have been blown away. I, I, eight years, let alone eight shows, was like a, was, was, was a miracle, it seems. You're going to see guys busting their ass to put on an amazing show. It's in Vanier, which, okay, <laughs> but it's cheap beer. It's, it's a lot of people all just having a good time and a good show and it's worth your money. It's 20 bucks for over three hours potentially of entertainment. You can't really beat that. This is fantastic wrestling. This is the wrestling that WWE wishes they had because this type of wrestling cannot be done there because you cannot fit it into a television program. These are real wrestlers wrestling their hearts out for these people here tonight. That core audience makes this show special. Like the dives and stuff I'm fine with, like when they're jumping out of the ring towards the crowd, as long as people know, move out of the way kind of thing, and people have become well adapted at their move. They do, so that's good. But like the fighting through the crowd, that stresses me out, and a lot of time when that happens, I just go to the back, I'm like, they'll deal with it, they're okay with it. I don't need to watch it right now. <laughs> that kind of in your, like, right in your lap action, again, you can't see that anywhere else. And I think that is a big part of why people are like, holy shit, I'm gonna <laughs> spend four bucks on a beer, whatever their beer costs, and I'm gonna sit here, and they're gonna be basically coming right in front of me. And you can tell people, people will be like, it's fake, it's fake. But when you see someone slapping the crap out of someone right in front of you, <laughs> you hear those chops, or you hear those kicks, or you see that person dive 12 feet and like crash on this person right in front of you, that's pretty real. And that goes back to pro wrestling. Pro wrestling's pro wrestling. It's not fake, it's not real, it's pro wrestling. Well, first of all, the Triple X Sex Express, Sexy Eddie. Uh, the ladies, man. Uh, the girls love me and some guys do too. Sexy Eddie, Sexy Eddie. Eddie's Eddie. <laughs> Eddie is Eddie all day, every day. The people that'll do the wrestling part, I'm more the entertainer. So even when people ask me, uh, you're a professional wrestler, professional entertainer, and I do a little wrestling on the side. That's how I say it. So, so that's all I'll do, a couple of gyrations, uh, maybe a crotch grab or something like that, and the people will love it. Sexy Eddie! <laughs> and we pulled out our sign. He, uh, he 
broke out finally he, in about 2004. In a ridiculous deathmatch tournament. There's like 40 or 50 guys all doing deathmatch, so like light tubes are being broken, thumbtacks are being used. Broken glass, barbed wire, that kind of stuff. And he, he did it in his little speedo. And at one point in the match, he cut an artery. Starts shooting blood. And he's looking down. And he looks up and looks down. And he realized when he squeezes his fist, he can control the spurt. Shot a stream of blood into his mouth in front of like 300 people at the show. And that kind of like, that cemented him as like a, an indie darling. He probably could have bled out pretty quickly. But his reaction was, let's make it a show. <laughs> That's Eddie, he's special. <laughs> what you're gonna get is the sexy Eddie tongue. That's trademark right there. That's money in the bank. I have a regular job like everyone else. If you're not on TV making the big bucks, you're usually doing smaller shows yeah. and you know, busting your ass, uh, working full time to make some extra money to pay for your gym membership or your tanning or your body grooming, whatever you need to do. I do it more for the fun, for the, for the, like you know, you got your nine to five job and then you get to do stupid stuff. I get to oil up and dance around in my underwear in a costume and I'm 36 years old. So you know, to do that and, and they give you a little money for it, I'm like, wow. All forms of entertainment are so fragmented these days, like how it's tough to get anyone to come out and do something for three and a half hours or whatever. So that's, it's, it, it's a tough sell. I understand that, but those who come out enjoy it. And they will, a lot of people will come in um, not expecting much of anything. And then they can't wait, they, they walk out and can't wait to tell five people and say, you gotta check this out.